Trudeau now wants to tax pickup trucks. See a thousand bucks on a on a Ford F one fifty and a um, thirty five hundred heavy duty Ram would get hit with an extra four thousand dollars tax just for purchasing because it's a truck. Let me ask you a question. Who uses trucks? Let's see. That would be the oil patch and loggers, farmers, rural Canadians, First Nations. Those are the people who use the trucks the most. So really, this is just a tax on the West and more particularly on Alberta. Because in Alberta, we need trucks. I don't know if you've ever been out to the patch. They won't even let you on site with a little four-wheel drive pickup because you're going to get stuck without it. Uh, you get into the muck and the muskeg, you can't function without a truck. So everybody in Alberta needs a truck. First Nations, they need trucks. They're they're up in the, in the boonies. Get the reserves to go to their hunting and fishing grounds. They need trucks. We need trucks. So now Trudeau is going to put the boots to us so that we can't have trucks. Because we won't be able to afford them. An extra three, four grand in tax just because it's a pickup truck. That's insane from the guy who flies back and forth three or four times a day across Canada to go on little trips and stuff. Biggest hypocrite Canada's ever seen. So the solution is a wild rose nation. You know, in, in, a, in a province where a truck is, is essential for three quarters of the people in this province. This is a direct attack on Alberta. Again, that's a, he's good for that. He hates Alberta. Leaves us out, he wants us out. You want us out, Trudeau? Fine, we'll leave. But we're taking our oil, and we're taking our transfer payments, and we're taking our GST and everything else with us. We will be an independent, prosperous, free constitutional republic. Alberta will stand alone, and we will stand strong, and we will not be defeated. And it's a wild rose party that's going to take Alberta there. A party of the people, for the people, and by the people who understands that politicians are civil servants. You wouldn't understand that, but Albertans do. And come 2023, Alberta will prove to all of Canada that we're just not going to take it anymore. And we're going to elect a Wild Rose government. And we're going to have a referendum on independence, and we will become an independent nation, and we will be prosperous, and we will no longer be a slave to Ottawa, Wild Rose Nation, where trucks are just another vehicle.